Bye Greg, bye Greg, hope you look good, bye Greg. This little device is one of the cooler and weirder third party, maybe you'd call it fourth party accessories I've used with the Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro. I say fourth party because you had to do a little bit of work to get this thing here in the States. I discovered it through a video by Gimbal Productions showing you how to set it up, and I was instantly fascinated. So what does it actually do? Well, you can see I've got no gears, no focus motor on the camera behind me, yet here I am pulling focus between my cactus and my bass guitar. See, this thing uses Bluetooth to communicate with any autofocus capable lens on the Blackmagic 6K Pro. And now I essentially have a tiny wireless follow focus remote, which is great in pretty much any scenario to have remote control of your camera, sure. But I feel like there's just a perfect scenario out there waiting to use this. Obviously being able to pull focus is something you want in every filmmaking scenario. I can't think of a camera rig I've built that doesn't have that as a very important feature. But I'm going to talk about a more specific, you know, hypothetical example. What if you needed to ride a bike while you're filming yourself using a camera that doesn't have autofocus and you're the only one around? Well, that's where this comes into play. Let's start the process of getting a camera onto a bicycle. So first we put the clamp on and get that extremely tight. This hybrid piece, which is a magic arm and a standard grip head. The grip head goes onto the baby pin. We can tighten that there. And then this thing moves. And we can set up our magic arm to be ready to receive. And camera comes in, clips into the quick release. Everyone has a minor hard tack, hoping it can hold the weight. It can. And we have a camera on a bicycle. Taking any old quarter 20 available clamp, using one of these dual or 20 screws, screw that into here. And then on the back of the follow focus, you can screw that into this. Just probably put it about here, tighten that, and boom, follow focus on a bicycle, ready to go. The point of this rig is not to say how much of a great grip I am. I am not the best at rigging things. It is just to say there are scenarios where you do want to have focus control. That would be a lot more difficult if I had to have this camera with a cage. This is a little cleaner and a lot easier for someone to manage on their own. Okay, let's uh, see how it rolls. <laughs> Key factor here is that I have not ridden a bike in years. Oh, jeez. We're going. Bikes in a rig. And camera rolls. Oh, I love it. I can control that on the phone. You could have the GoPro angle, sure, but well, I have an angle that looks like that. And you can have this cinematic in your face realism. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you consider subscribing, you can see more stuff like it. And I'll continue to put my gear on the line for both of our entertainment. And hopefully we'll learn to do something a little better. So make your own bike camp. I'm calling it the follow focus remote for lack of a better name. You can get ones that have different colors for that button there. You can get one that has two dials for even further control and ones that have different battery capacities if that's something you care about and wanna save a few bucks. This one that I chose has a 600 mAh battery and with shipping cost me $95. It's pretty reasonable for what it does. Just a note on purchasing so you don't do what I did. Be sure to actually check the status on the website when they send you an update email saying the status of your order has changed. In my scenario, they were asking to confirm if this is indeed the one and color I wanted. I didn't think to check any further. I thought it was your standard shipping update email and didn't notice it, but that did hold up my shipping for a few days. So when you get those emails, just take the second to check the website. In addition to focus control, pressing in and rotating lets you change your aperture and if you hold the button while switching the unit off and on, that will change to ISO control. 
It can stop and start recording like I showed you before and charges over micro USB for an estimated five to six hours of runtime. You can power it off a power bank while using it as well. The single screw on the bottom would let you put it anywhere a quarter 20 screw would allow. Setup requires the use of some software, which I'm gonna link below. And I'm also going to link below the awesome videos from Dominic and the team over at Gimbal Productions, which made a really easy walkthrough on how to get this thing set up with the Bluetooth in your camera very, very quickly. The focus throw is smooth, but it's not as fast as I might like. And I'm not able to set focus marks or calibrate it specifically with all my various lenses. That could be changed in software, but for right now, it does actually do what I purchased it for, an easy remote control to adjust focus and stop and start recording when I'm not touching the camera. So I haven't bothered tinkering with it. The third party ecosystem of accessories today gives you so many options on what to get to make your perfect rig. Accessories are just kind of fun. If there's stuff that you've used to make your ideal dream perfect Blackmagic 6K Pro or any other Blackmagic camera rig, please let me know in the comments below. People will tell you that gear does not matter. People on YouTube will say often that gear does not matter. And they're right. But it doesn't mean it's not fun to talk about gear and share those videos with you. So thanks for checking this out. And until next time, I'm off walking.